from a competitive sibling rivalry to Super Bowl history makers. Jason and Travis Kelsey's long road to success was not without its challenges. Here's how the brothers defied the odds to become NFL superstars. Only two years separate Jason and Travis Kelsey in age, so for most of their lives, the two brothers were on fairly equal footing. As is often the case in such families, that dynamic fostered nearly constant struggles between the two, as her mother Donna Kelsey can attest. When talking with Today, she revealed, Everything was a competition. It's just typical sibling rivalry. They egged each other on. With each brother always pushing himself to the limit just to get the better of the other, they created a drive within themselves that is a major key to success. It would be no surprise if both of them carried that motivated mentality from their childhood all the way through their professional lives as well. Both Jason and Travis Kelsey were extremely athletic from a very young age. Even as early as middle school, the brothers were so skilled on the field and the basketball court that they got the attention of Coach Mike Jones at Cleveland Heights High School. Once enrolled there a couple years later, they both played a few different sports on top of football, including basketball, baseball, lacrosse, and hockey. Most impressive was how good the two were at all these various sports. When Jeff Rotsky, the coach who took over during Travis's senior year, was talking with Cleveland.com, he said, Trav, he's the only human being I've ever known that could have been a Division I football, basketball, and baseball player. I mean, that's a fact. Trav is just on a different level than anybody else. He is so athletic. Jason also stood out because he was such a versatile athlete. Mike Jones told the Philadelphia Inquirer, he was a heck of a player. As the older brother, Jason Kelsey graduated from Cleveland Heights High School first, and then began attending the University of Cincinnati in 2006. Even with his high school accomplishments, however, he struggled at the college level at first, and initially failed to get a Division I scholarship. But that was not the case for long, and his former coach Mike Jones was not surprised in the slightest. He told the Philadelphia Inquirer, I knew Jason was going to work his tail off. Jason was the type of young man who would do whatever a coach wanted him to do. I knew once he got on campus and they saw his motor and saw how passionate he was about playing football, I knew he would get a scholarship. By 2008, Travis joined the team as well, and the siblings played together again for a couple of years. Both continued to impress throughout their collegiate careers, leading to a sixth-round draft pick by Philadelphia for Jason in 2011, while Travis was drafted in the third round by the Kansas City Chiefs in 2013. As coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, Andy Reid has been incredibly influential during Travis Kelsey's career, and Travis is the first to admit it. When talking with his brother Jason on their podcast, New Heights, he explained, Coach Reid nonstop evolved this tight end position for me, and um, I can't say how much I love him for that. Travis then confirmed this belief again on the Pat McAfee show, as well as describing how Reid has been such an effective strategist in the game due to his ability to figure out how to get players open for critical passes. Travis then joked that Reed is so great at his job, in fact, that he would be able to coach the player's father to make a successful first down in an NFL game. So I, uh, I, I owe a lot of my career, if not all my career, to that big guy. While Jason Kelsey began to cement himself as the center of the Philadelphia Eagles shortly after joining the team, it was not until he was under the direction of the offensive line coach Jeff Stoutland that he gradually became exceptional in the role. Stoutland was brought on board in 2013 and began to help massively in forming Jason into one of the best centers on the field. To describe what has made Stoutland such an effective instructor, Jason explained to NBC Sports Philadelphia, Obviously, he's extremely knowledgeable, experienced, and strategic, and able to build a game plan and something that's conducive to the players. He gets the most out of every player who has ever played for him, and that's usually a mark of a pretty darn good coach. Incredible athletes like the Kelsey brothers often reach a degree of celebrity status, but when they manage to branch out into other parts of the entertainment industry, they can lead to a whole new level of fame. Travis was put solidly on this path to superstardom once he became the focal point of his own reality TV show, Catching Kelsey, on E! in 2016. Travis's rising popularity clearly didn't go unnoticed by the network and was the primary reason why they were willing to risk having a football player lead a non-sports-related program. Jeff Old, EVP of Programming and Development at E! explained to Deadline, On top of being a well-respected athlete, Travis has a fun-loving, over-the-top personality that draws people to him, and we are excited to give our viewers an up-close look at his search for love. The one-season elimination-style dating show brought 50 women to Los Angeles to compete for Travis's affection. And um, that's going to be the hardest decision of my life. Travis Kelsey has continued to impress year after year playing for the Kansas City Chiefs and has made himself into a true record-breaker. In 2020, the talented athlete smashed two records for a tight end in one day. He not only racked up the most receiving yards in a single season, but he also became the first tight end with two 100-catch seasons under his belt. Travis was humble in his response to the achievements, telling Sports Illustrated, Getting recognized like that is awesome because my teammates, my coaches, the people in this building are proud of me in that regard. At the end of the day, there's always more to accomplish in a team game. Then, only two years later, Travis was at it again. 
When the Chiefs faced the Denver Broncos in 2022, he became the tight end that reached 10,000 yards receiving in the shortest amount of time ever. Among their various accomplishments on the field, both Jason and Travis Kelsey have already earned Super Bowl rings. In 2018, the elder sibling earned the right to brag that he did it first after the Philadelphia Eagles overcame the New England Patriots to achieve victory in Super Bowl 52. But the boasting must have been toned down considerably only two years later when Travis and the Kansas City Chiefs defeated the San Francisco 49ers to win Super Bowl 54. Since each brother has already won the NFL championship, it takes away much of the tension for their mother, Donna Kelsey, who can sit back and just enjoy the spectacle. When talking with Today, she said, Obviously, there's going to be somebody that's going to go home heartbroken. They won't have the bragging rights at the Thanksgiving table, but this is going to be an awesome event, and I'm really looking forward to it. In 2022, Jason Kelsey's dedication to the Philadelphia Eagles literally paid off in a major way when he secured a $14 million deal. The substantial increase from his previous contract worth $9 million made him the highest earning center in the NFL, reports ESPN. Not only that, but coach Nick Sirianni also added the personal touch of having a keg of beer delivered to Jason's home as a gift. The team went to such lengths because they did not want to risk losing a player as valuable as Jason, not to another team, but to retirement as Jason entered his mid-30s. Fortunately for Philadelphia, the plan worked, and they were able to keep the superstar on the roster for at least a little longer. The Eagles' decision to go all-in on their oldest all-pro player since the 1950s certainly paid off for them as well, since he had a huge role in getting them into another Super Bowl. With their careers likely to come to a close sometime over the next few years simply due to age, Jason and Travis Kelsey have made the clever move of starting a podcast while they remain at the center of the spotlight in the sports world. Since the duo unfortunately cannot play football forever, building a strong following now will give them a perfect avenue to transition into once they both eventually call it quits. In their announcement for the project, the brothers said, according to USA Today, We've been waiting for the right moment to do the show, and with 12 Pro Bowls and two rings between us, we have a few things to say about the league, the new talent on the field, the upcoming season, and our lives off the field. In a brief description of the podcast, they added, For the most part, this will be a raw dialogue between two brothers who had the chance to live out their childhood football dreams together. The podcast's new heights was a success right away, proving it was the right call for them to focus on the new endeavor. The show rose to the number one spot in sports podcasts in September 2022, the same month its first episode debuted, according to Business Wire. Both Jason and Travis Kelsey have stood out as two of the best football players of their generation throughout their record-breaking careers. However, the brothers will make history again in possibly one of the most memorable ways to the general public for Super Bowl 57. In the long history of the prestigious competition, there has never been a time when brothers have played against each other until now, as the Philadelphia Eagles take on the Kansas City Chiefs. The mother of the two men, Donna Kelsey, shared her thoughts about the historic moment with Today and said, Well, you knew it was going to happen eventually to somebody because there are so many brothers in the NFL right now that are playing at a very high level. It just happened to be that we were the lucky ones first, so I think it's probably going to be more and more prominent.